The tourism sector has been decimated by COVID-19, but still trying to make a comeback. Here's Dwayne Anderson with that report. Empty gift shops, empty restaurants, and virtually abandoned beaches. It's the story of Jamaica's tourism sector in the COVID era. It's extraordinary. Um, you know, obviously our tourist trade has been wiped out um, and it's nearly non-existent. We had a few people at Christmas. 47% of hotels are still closed. We are happy that GX is open. We open back on July the 15th. Um, in February, we had a 33% occupancy um, at discounted rates. What has um, not done well is Lover's Leap. Sadly, we had to make our team there redundant. In Ocho Rios, these horses are popular for sea rides, but they're not as busy these days. Instead, they spend the time in pastures feeding. Their owners, though, aren't eating. They are hoping for the future change and things change. We can't eat a bit of food and have a better way of life, you know, but right now it's tough. It's a similar story for craft vendors. They can hardly go to the supermarket who are into the tourist industry. And we are talking about 55, 60, 70 year old. I've been wondering what is going to take place with these people. Just over 1 million visitors came to Jamaica in the last year, well below the over 3 million the year before. At one point, just around 20,000 of the near 200,000 employed in tourism were working. Consequently, Jamaica's tourism sector lost 74% of foreign exchange earnings in the last fiscal year. We understood what pandemics meant, but factually, we would not be able to contemplate the impact that this would have had in a one year. Absolutely no way we could have imagined this. But Jamaica still has its appeal. Luke is from Canada a country that has blacklisted Jamaica due to COVID-19. We saw Luke in Treasure Beach in St. Elizabeth. Almost a year since it happened and we're still wearing masks. And in fact, before I left back for Canada, I think I was sitting at this very table with some friends and no one knew what was gonna happen. Some players in the local tourism sector say they will take the vaccine if it helps to get the sector back to normal. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.